morning there, Barbara. John, good morning, everybody. Yeah, Maria, once again, a Category 3 storm. It's back over open waters and lifting off to the north. And it looks like this storm uh, could strengthen a little bit more, but not too much. Should be holding on to Category 3 strength, maybe uh, weakening uh, in the next 36 hours or so to a Category 2 storm. But there you see the eye. It's very large right now. And there's the Dominican Republic getting some heavy rain. Wind gusts along the coast, probably 60 to 80 miles an hour because the strongest winds are around the eye, which moved right over uh, Puerto Rico late last night. Again, a Category 3 storm, winds at 115. The northwest movement at 9 will continue, could skirt by the Bahamas there, and then turn to the north, and eventually more off to the north and the east, and it could be weakening down to a, potentially a Category 1 storm, maybe between Bermuda and the Outer Banks. That's what most of the models are suggesting. There's a couple rogue models bringing it closer to the coast, but the lion's share of the data is going to keep it offshore. And you see that red line there. That's the official track from the uh, National Hurricane Center. So good to see that. Then there's Jose, really not moving. It's nearly stationary uh, right now. And seeing some bands of heavy rain hitting, uh, say, uh, Hatter uh, around uh, Nantucket and pushing up into Boston. And their seas are going to be up too. And that's not just for today. That's days and days of this. So beach erosion an issue moving east at two miles an hour. And over the next three and a half to four days, look at this. It just kind of hangs out in the same place. Little if any movement at all as it just lingers there. Back to home, we're looking